What's wrong with you? Oh, how was your day, Damien? My day, Tanya? My day was amazing. Thanks for asking. I got another fucking note from a job today. Actually, two jobs. Two jobs said fuck you. Oh, and on the way home, I little running with 5 0. They got a little free spirit with their hands. And my face. I was wondering why you look like that. But you didn't ask. Because you don't care. I care. Yeah, right. It's just... It's always something up with you. Always. And I guess I'm just trying to figure out when things are going to turn around. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, really? That's how you feel? What's going on, beautiful people? It's your boy here, Wesley, from A Connection TV here on YouTube, the one place in the worldwide web where we actually adopt similar connections despite our differences. And welcome to my channel. If this is your first time seeing me, I've been doing videos since 2005 on YouTube, so I'm not new to this, I'm true to this. Follow me on my social medias, Instagram and Twitter at A Connection TV, and let's get started. Look, I cannot do every episode. I'm sorry, I just couldn't do every episode because I found myself going in and out of loving it and then trying to dissect it and then trying to understand where they were going with it and then trying to be okay where they were going with it and still trying to figure it out. So uh, after episode three, I, I was like no longer compelled to do a review every episode. And so I'm gonna talk about four, five, six, and seven. Four, five, six, and seven. Yeah, cause I did three, right? And so, yeah, um, oh, let's see. Um, so my favorite episode is the stripper episode. That's, that's my, that's my favorite episode by far, the stripper episode. Um, and, and then the Billie Eilish episode was dope. Billie Eilish is cool. Like, I'm not going to say she playing herself, but the way she played that role was really, really slick. So that was a good role. I mean, a good episode. And episode one was good. Those are the top three episodes. And then my fourth favorite would be the detective episode. I thought that was funny. I thought that was slick. And, I, you know, it's very interesting because I wanted to do a series. Let me not go there. Let me not go there. But Donald Glover, I see you. I see you. I definitely see you because I was intrigued by that episode. So... Out of the seven episodes, those are my my top four. I, I liked I liked those episodes. Um, so much happened in this show, and I I have to say that I still give it an eight. I still give the show an eight, but I do not like the ending. Honestly, I could give it a seven, but the, the, do I want to give it a seven? I'll give it an eight. No, I'll give it an eight. But the ending, you can miss me with that because. I don't like shows where I have to figure out <laughs> I have to figure out crap at the end like I got I just got finished watching seven episodes of your show and I still got questions I don't like series or shows like that that aggravates my spirit but I'm still giving it an eight because it's fresh the main protagonist is a dark-skinned black woman there are so many dark-skinned black characters in this show they're lit well the cinematography is good this black woman is in a powerful position and she just Xing people, whoever she wants to X. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like that in and of itself is, is amazing. And unlike Queen and Slim and that trash, we got black people at the helm of this production and the main protagonist doesn't get killed at the end. The main protagonist gets away with all the murders. The main protagonist is still crazy and bonkers and still running shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, the main protagonist is still in a power, a power position. And that's what, I, that's what I want. I want black creators to create stuff where I'm watching it and the black people are not getting shot up by their own black people. You know what I'm saying? Like, 
even though she was a, a killer and she was killing people and she but she wasn't her her killing wasn't wasn't towards any specific particular race she was killing everybody but i think y'all know what i'm saying one of the comments on, on my video know what the hell i'm saying she know what i'm saying she thought that she thought queen of slim was trash too that shit was trash trash anyway this not about queen of <laughs> but they had a mission and they 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 uh definitely definitely did what they needed to do. I'm you know, I know Beyonce is powerful and I know, you know, she can I'm just shocked that this got made. Like the blatant I'm not even gonna say uh well, it depends on how you look at it. Because you know, some people can look at this like disrespect. And you know, I was so confused because I was watching the the, the um the detector episode, and I'm like, is this real? I'm so confused, and I'm like, why is Nija not looking like Nija? Well, I mean, a uh, Dre not looking like Dre? What, like what? And the girl, the woman that played the detective, slayed that. They, she slayed that episode. Oh my god, it was so good. And then I'm like, no, this is not. This is not. Well, the, the thing, and every time it says not fictitious, and anybody or anything that we're relating this to is intentional. Okay, great, but like, is this, I'm, I was so confused, is this real? So I had to do research, and the whole entire show is not real. Um, it's not, it's not, it's, it is fictitious, but it's based off of, like, so it's not based on, like, a full true story, but they did do research on a lot of murders and stuff that was going on, and so they like pieced the murders together to fit into the narrative of what they were trying to say. And, and, and then I go back to saying that some people could look at this as disrespectful because it's, it's clear that they're talking about Beyonce. It's clear that they're talking about members of the Beehive. And you know, when I think about the end of the show, I look at it from multiple angles. One, is it Beyonce's responsibility to reel in her crazy Beehive members? You know, I look at it like that. Is it her responsibility to do that? Then there's another uh, another ending you can grab from it. Dre was so clearly uh, out of her mind and, and having these hallucinations that for her to still, because throughout the whole show, she's sitting here texting or thinking that Marissa's texting her back and having this whole conversation with Marissa, but clearly she's gone. And so for her to see Marissa at the end, she been wanting to see Mar see Nigel with Marissa the whole movie. You know what I'm saying? And so, like, I'm feeling like that was her moment of having that or sharing that with Marissa. Or, or, maybe all of that is in her head. Maybe, maybe she didn't even make it into the concert. Maybe she's off in a car somewhere, still with the guy, the guy that she stabbed and hallucinating in the car. And this is a dream sequence. You know what I'm saying? But... I just don't like not knowing what I just watched. Like in my mind, in my in my mind, Beyonce ain't taking no damn crazy deranged person off the stage and walking them in her car and hugging her and consoling her. She's not doing that. Maybe she should. Maybe that's what the movie is saying. <laughs> but no, she's not doing that. So I was, I was like, what? And then the way that they did the face of the, like the face of her, it just looks so fake and like, dreamy so then again i'm like maybe she is dreaming you know what i'm saying like she she was caught up in love with the plum and then she ended up biting somebody's face off i don't know i just got too many questions about this show and that's the reason why i could give it a seven but i'm still gonna give it an eight because there's like so many more positives and, and and groundbreaking scenarios that came out of this show than not and so for that, I'm like, still give it a, a go. Like I thought it was good. What did y'all? Well, I'm already done talking about the damn movie. So, <laughs> so what did y'all think about the movie? I really want to know because, to be honest, I, I was it was good. It was good. I just don't understand the point of it. What's the point? I feel like low key. I feel like I wasted my time because of the ending. Like it didn't explain nothing to me. I thought the detective was gonna find her and arrest her. Like that would have been fine. Like the cops didn't have to kill her. But at least arrest her. She said there, she done killed this little girl, this Rashida girl, who who for whatever reason was in love with her. Her psycho crazy ass. She done changed her car 15 times in the last month. You mean to tell me you ain't doing no research on this broad? What are we talking about here? You're in, you're showcasing you, uh, showing your parents this chick or whatever. And then the parents were nice to her. The parents consoled her and everything, and she killing this young lady. 
And then, you know, because I, I have a problem with that. I'm like, fine. Kill Khalid. Okay, cool. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, Khalid, the reason why Marissa ain't here no more. All right, I can understand that. But now she going and hurting all these innocent people just because they have an opinion? That was dumb. Like, okay, that's the whole point, Wes. Okay, you got psycho crazy people out there that's standing for Beyonce. I get that. I understand that. We got psycho crazy people out here that's standing for Sierra, child. It's the truth. I don't believe it, but it's the truth. I know a couple of them. But still, Rashida, no. Billie Eilish, no. Like, these people, these are people that would, well, no. Because they was trying to hold her hostage. <laughs> they was holding her hostage. Billie Eilish did a great job. This whole show, everybody acted their ass off. They did a great Great job. Great job. But yeah, I don't think she she ain't had no business killing Rashida because she Rashida told her that she ain't really care for Naja and she ain't blinked twice in that scenario. Then what whatever happened to the dude that was stuck in the freezer? Like I felt like I felt like episode six was gonna close the gap on a lot of the things, but they failed to do that. That y'all y'all could have gave me a 60 minute episode of that just to close up all the gaps. Y'all should have found the man in the freezer. Y'all should have found out what happened to the people at the uh at the uh uh white tiki camp. You know, the the lovers and lust camp, whatever they call them. And, and you know what I'm saying? Like I was like, all right, yes, yeah, sew this up. Let's close this all up. And that was a beautiful, talented way of doing that. And I was sold. The de detective was amazing to me. She was charismatic and everything. Chocolate sister. I could understand why Billie Eilish was a didn't show her titties. Well, I do understand, because I'm sure Billie Eilish wouldn't show her titties. But it was real interesting that everybody else was naked in that tent, but except for uh, Fishback and, and Billie Eilish. I was like, huh? This taking me out of the scene. I mean, I, granted, these actresses don't want to be nude for Amazon Prime, I guess. But y'all taking me out the scene. Everybody naked but y'all? I couldn't understand that. No. <laughs> That was, I, I couldn't understand it. That was doing too much for me. That was doing too much for me. Um, but what else happened, child? This show was a lot. It, it, it was a lot. Like, it was it, it was a lot. The Billie Eilish episode was cool. The, uh, the getting locked in the freezer, that was a lot going on. She biting people in the face. Um, she beating the parents. Rashida did it was the, uh, then it was the detective episode, one whole episode. I'm missing the episode. Let me look at my notes real quick. I know I'm missing the episode. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to watch the rest of that because I was like, I don't understand what's going on. White woman treating. Okay, yeah, that was that was Billie Eilish. And uh, Leon comes downstairs with a shot. Oh, she went to visit the parents. So she she went to visit the parents. And I'm thinking she about to shoot because the, 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 what's the boy that's on YouTube? The dark skinned boy with the skinny, very skinny boy. And he like real like uh, champion self esteem, and he's he be dancing all weird and shit on his videos. Whatever his name is, he in there, and I was like, oh look at him, that's cool. And he got he got the video. He, he you know acting. They well, I ain't seen him, never seen him in nothing else. So if that you know for me, that's the first time we seen him on the thing. So I was like, yes, congratulations. I don't know the boy name, but um, congratulations to him. And, uh, yeah, that episode was her going to see the parents. Leon looked fine. He, he got to be 85 looking fine. And he wanted to shoot her. So, but we found out. We found, well, we found out more stuff. Well, no. We found out a good amount of information in episode four, the Billie Eilish episode, where she was starting to explain herself. And she was doing the snapping thing. Oh, that was good. That was really, really good. Got me in there. And, you know, we found out about the, uh, the uh, spilled milk and it was red and she had hurt somebody. Then in the detective episode, we found out who it was that got hurt. And that, it was just, it was a full circle moment. The parent episode, I mean, I guess. But we didn't even know that there was the foster kid. Well, no, we saw the picture. Uh, it, was, it was, you know, <sighs> I like episodes. Where I got to I got to see the episodes and then we get to the later episodes and then they explain. But this one, y'all could explain. They could have explained this a lot earlier for me because I was just and still even after the explanations, I'm still like, like I still got questions at the end. I don't like that. I don't like having questions at the end. And y'all see, I'm stumbling and fumbling at this review because it was. Uh, 
I still have the the big the burning word is why. Why? Why we go through all this? You trying to meet Nyjah, and we don't even know if you met Nyjah. You walk up to the girl, and it's a floaty head of Chloe Bailey. So, like, like, huh? Like, what was the point? That's my problem. We got all the way to the end for what? And we still got questions. Huh? <laughs> it's, I hate stuff like that. It's like, why? I don't understand stuff like that. I, you know, I, I know cliffhanger, yes. But, I mean, come on. Come on. Come on now. Come on. And then, do I want a season two of this? No, not really. How's she going to get away with all these murders? The cops already high on her tail. She done changed her name 17 times. Then st just stealing cars left and right. Is that easy to steal cars? She's, I don't know. But this show was wild. Dominique Fishback. I hope she gets more roles because... Baby, I feel bad for her girlfriend or her boyfriend or whoever she with. Or 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 he or or they, you know. Cause nowadays, you know, you got to be careful. You can't just call her a she and she look like a she. It could be a he or a they or a them child. Anyways, I hope Fishback get a lot of roles because baby, she she crazy. She is crazy. And she did a great job. Everybody did a great job from Chloe Bailey to Billie Eilish to, to Idris, Fishback, Glover, the girl that played the detective, all of everybody. Great show, great cinematography, great writing. Y'all could have missed me with all the questions I got left at the end. Y'all could have missed me with all that. But I'm surprised Beyonce let this be. I'm surprised. I'm so surprised Beyonce let this get out. And I mean, and like, I guess she really can't do nothing, but Jesus, it's definitely talking about her. And clearly, it's called The Swarm. Duh. Anyways, I love y'all. Let me know what y'all thought about the show. Leave your comments below and deuces.